Hi everyone, welcome back. I know one side of my face is darker than the other because we're making the most out of natural light. So this is a more natural interaction experience without the studio lights, you know? It's like I'm sitting here talking to you, sat on my bed directly as you would in real life. So today I am going to be showing you what I got when I went to LA and Coachella. So as you guys may already know, I went to Coachella with the skincare brand Kiehl's and uh, I brought back quite a lot of really cool stuff. So I must admit, I did get a lot of Kiehl's products and they're all in this big bag here. I'm not gonna show you what I got from Kiehl's because we would be here all day. I will, have, however, do like a Kiehl's skincare kind of video, uh, maybe a haul, whatever would be better, like, whatever you'd like, write in the comments. Something along those lines I'll do, because, you know, as I said, we'll be here a while. Some of the stuff here was, were presents from Kiehl's, so not only did they give us as a product, on one particular day, we were down at breakfast, and two of the people from Kiehl's, uh, they kind of snuck off, and then when we went back to our rooms, it was just full of gifts. You've probably seen it in my daily vlog. If you haven't seen it already, the, here is the vlog um, for that day. <laughs> I was so great. I couldn't believe it. I was literally on the cusp of crying. Without further ado, let's go. The first thing I want to show you is this bag that I got when I was down Melrose. Um, it is a Rebecca Minkoff bag. I never actually heard of Marekka, Rebecca Minkoff, but we went into her shop and I just ran towards these bags and was like, oh my god, they're so nice. She does so many different colours and materials in this style of bag. Like there's suede, there's holographic, there's like patent, there's like oil slick style. I thought I would just get, be boring, and get the plain black bag. It's actually quite spacious for a little bag. Um, I've used it a few times already. It comes with this chain strap with like these studs on. Um, however, I think the selling point for me is this next bit I'm gonna show you. So, not only does she sell these really lovely little bags, but she does this thing where you can mix and match these guitar strap bag straps. So they're like guitar straps. So I picked this one which is this really cool chevron, I thought it was ever pin, but it's chevron, black and white, hints of neon pink and green, with all these little beads and embellishments on them. Here's the detailing of the strap, it just looks so, so cool. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you is, these were some of the gifts that I got in my room. These next two are insane, this was like, Oh, I saw them in there. So the first one is, I can't believe I'm showing you this. I've got some platinum GHDs. These GHDs are insane. They are so good. As you can see, the pattern is this really cool festival kind of feather look, which I think was very fitting for Coachella. Then to go with that is the GHD travel hair dryer. Now this is special because basically what it does, no matter where you are in the world, um, you won't lose power of this hair dryer. So a lot of hair dryers when you're traveling, like in hotels, or if you're converting the wattage through a, a you know, like a plug, they can often decrease the power or something like that. But this one doesn't change the power, so you can blow dry your hair, same kind of power as you would at home, but in this little travel size one. And, folds up. Next on to some little bits that I bought myself. This is a pyro pet. I got it when I was down at Kinney, which is an area like Venice, it's kind of near Santa Monica, but it's, ne it's near Venice Beach. Basically, a pyro pet, I've been told, is an Icelandic design and it's a candle which when you burn, it eventually reveals a little metal skeleton. As you can see, so that's a full bunny and then as you start to melt it, it reveals this skeleton. Alright, so we went to Sephora and we did go a little bit crazy. Uh, we were in there for a good hour, I think. But I was with Jamie, who's a makeup artist, and then Fleur and Anna are super into their like makeup and skincare. So it was we were in there for quite a while. I was getting advice from all of them and stuff I should buy. The most probably the most exciting purchase that I got was the Tarte unicorn brushes. Hello, look at these. They come with like the amazing gold unicorn horn and then they've got these really soft multicolored <gasps> brushes on the top. I just think I'm just trying to upgrade my like brush collection. I'm just trying to make my brushes a little bit better and I bought these also just because just look at them. There was no question involved when I was buying these. I just picked them up and that was that. Right, so I've got a tart. Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation, which has got SPF 15. Jamie recommended this one to me because I said I wanted to have full coverage, yet like a dewy kind of look, and she said that this is a really good one. I love 
that Tarte have like all this wooden effect on some of their products. It's so nice. So yeah, this is the Amazonian clay and I got it in shade ivory. I also got a new foundation brush from Tarte as well. Wooden very soft though. Little brush. Fake Away from Tarte is a eye highlight which you just sort of put in the watery bits of your eye. I've been told that it was amazing. I was just picking it up and then Flo was like, oh no, I wanted it. It was the last one, but as she was very kind, as I'd never tried it before, she let me have it. Okay, I got two Too Faced blushes. I've got this one, which is replacing the one that I broke and smashed, but I got it in a slightly different color. I love these because they look like Polly Pocket. This is Justify My Love, and it's a love flush. I just love the packaging. It just makes me feel about five years old again. And then I got this one because I was torn between the two, and I thought, you know what, fuck it, I'll get both. This one looks more like a chocolate box, and basically it's just like a shimmer, shimmery version. It's like a bronzer, but it's like got some color to it. It, but this has got some shimmer to it which is good for like a summer glow whereas you know this one is just probably for like just adding a bit of color to the cheek so I got this which is laid back defrizz and anti-static spray by IGK to be honest I'd never heard of the brand before I picked this up when I was at the checkout it was on the side I just read the bottle and was like and defrizz and anti-static spray <gasps> I need this. For it's from the beach, static from a blizzard, use this spray to smooth over flyaways in a flash. I also got from Tarte in Sephora, Make Believe in Yourself Eye Cheek Palette. All these really lovely shimmery colours. There's one matte, but it's all shimmer, and there's like a highlight in the middle. So what it looks like, I mean, look at all these. It's just, it's just beautiful. We've got some deep warm colours. Gold, almost like a rose gold, purple silvery blue and then these lighter peachy kind of colors i saw it and was like oh and then jamie was like you don't need it i was like yes i do she said it's got it's only got one matte though and i'm like i don't care i like shimmery colors so that's everything that i got from sephora we were given some ray bands when we were there as well we had it in a little lunch box i think every, all of the like influencers from around the world that were going with keels because there were there were influencers and youtubers and stuff from like everywhere we all got a pair of these yeah yeah, I bought some clothes when I was away. First of all, this jacket, which was gifted to me by Kiehl's, is a suede tan biker jacket. It's actually from River Island. I've actually worn it a few times already, but um, they gave me this and I was super grateful because it's really, really cool and I don't actually own a tan jacket. Tan and black are staple colors, you know, and then blue denim. We were also given these pajamas, which I love. And when I go on my honeymoon to Mexico, I'm gonna take these bad boys with me. And they're just this pinky silk with little cactuses on. So they're the shorts. And then the top half is just a cami with a lace insert in the front. Just, just, yes. Look at them! Perfect summer PJs. Right, this top I bought for a laugh, really. We were in pink. And I got these because I thought it was funny. It's, it's this nighty, and it says, <laughs> it says, no panties, no problem. I thought it was funny. It's a little bit, little bit cheeky, a little bit rude, a little bit, oh, la la. You know what? I might wear it when I answer the door and the postman comes. Oh, well, one thing I forgot to show you, which I got, like, before I even went to America from the airport was this. Um, I love to buy perfume when I go to the airport. A, because it's cheaper, slightly, and B, because whenever I go away and I buy a new perfume and I use it when I'm away, it's that whole scent memory thing. So like when I use this, this will make me think of Coachella. This is Fleur Musk by Narciso Rodrigo. Got a little bit more hint of floralness to it um, than the other ones. I think the other ones are quite masculine. Next, I'm gonna show you all these cool t-shirts that I got. So the first one is my merch from Coachella. This is the front, little round circle of Coachella written. But on the back, this is the back bit, which has got this funny, he looks pretty high, he probably is high. Cannabis is legal in California, apparently, so. Okay, so the next thing I got, which was, we all got one when we went to In-N-Out Burger on our last day. In-N-Out Burger T-shirts. It's In-N-Out Burger California. And then on the back is, some pop trees. I went to this shop that I really love, Don Albert Kinney called Junk Food, and I bought some butt down band t-shirts from there before when I went to LA. I bought a ACDC one and a Def Leppard one. So I went back and I bought some more. So this one's not a band t-shirt. This just says Weird Out West in this really nice purple colour. So that's the front. On the back it says Weird Out West. Nice reminder of being out there, mountains, cactuses, desert, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just a cool t-shirt. I got this t-shirt, which is a Billy Joel one. It's really, I really like it because all of junk food, it all looks vintage, it all looks kind of old. Um, so I got this Billy Joel one, which has got him on a motorbike. And I love this sort of 
dusty pink sleeve against this grey. And then I got another Def Leppard t-shirt. This is a vest. I um, don't know how often I'm going to wear it, but I really like it. And then this last top, which I bought from a shop down Albert Kinney as well, because we, we sort of spent the, the afternoon there when we were um, waiting for our plane. So this is from Skylark, a shop called Skylark, and it's just this vest. just thought it was a really nice, simple vest. I love that it's sort of like a tie-dye, but with stripes. But that'd be like a, a very good, casual, everyday kind of vest. Also from Skylark, I got these sunglasses, because a pair of mine broke when I was there. And I was like, these are cool. These will make a cool replacement. So the last bunch of stuff I'm going to show you is from Urban Outfitters. I've got these sandals, which are laced up, big, chunky sole, um, and like cork effect inside. Um, and when, when you tie them up, you can tie them up your ankle. Because they're lacy, you don't have that worry of them becoming like rubbing, because if they start to rub, you could just loosen them a bit. I got this top, which Matthew's very jealous of. Rugrats, and then it's got the characters down the sleeve, as you may be able to see. But yeah, I thought that was just so cool. I thought, what a great lounging top that would be. I got this top. Jamie got this in a different colour. She came over and, oh, I feel how soft this top is. Went over to the stand, and I bought it in a different colour. So nice. It's really soft. So, so soft. Um... And that's Urban Outfitters as well. She got hers in a cream. This is, again, like a dusty pink. But I think that's just gorgeous. And the last thing that I got from Urban Outfitters is this jumpsuit, which is from a brand which I really like. Silence and Noise. It's just strappy, like this. The back of it kind of goes up in the middle. It's this really big, baggy... Like, this is a leg. This is one leg. Look how wide the legs are. In this sort of, like stripe with dots sort of pattern and I think the idea is that you can obviously wear it on its own but you could wear a top underneath it like you could wear wear it almost like a dungaree super slouchy almost like these are almost like her reams I can't even show you it properly it's just so large so yeah that is what I bought when I was in LA hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you soon I'd like to say thank you to Keels for taking me on the trip and giving me this amazing opportunity also thank you for all the stuff that you gave us as well there was lo loads of other things that they, they, they gave us but um, literally we would be here all day and, and it's, they're all so wonderful and lovely and great so yeah thanks for watching, hope you have a good day and I'll see you soon